Good morning everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal on a very, very pretty Saturday morning. It's 6 degrees here in Southern British Columbia, which will make it 41 in American. And I am off to the dealership to have them check um, something that is a recall. It must be a really big recall because, as you know, mine is a fairly older car. And um, for them to be recalling a car as old as mine tells me that, you know, there must have been a bit of a problem. So they're just going to check my car to see if it needs uh, this particular problem fixed. And it has nothing to do with servicing you know it is about a regular it is a, a manufacturer error let's put it that way I've booked an appointment for them to check it, but I'm pretty sure that I'm trying to make a decision, let me put it that way, I'm trying to make a decision whether to sit and wait for it, which will be painfully agonizing for me, or to have them take me home and pick me up again later. Well, here's my thinking. If I actually let them take me home. My car will be dropped to the back of the line and there won't be any rush, if you get my drift. Whereas if they know I'm sitting there waiting, they're going to deal with it, I believe, slightly more quickly. And that is my thinking. However, on my way there, I am going to pick up my favorite coffee and uh, something to eat in case I'm sitting there a long time. Well, there is a lot of traffic today. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go the long way to go the short way. Alright, so there's so much traffic on this road that crossing it uh, is a challenge. So, I'm just going to go around the block. I don't know if you guys do that, but sometimes it's the far less stressful way of driving and for the sake of a couple of kilometers it's I don't know about you guys but I'd rather do that than fight two lanes of traffic and that sort of situation. So it's one o'clock. Um, they did really well. By the way, I was quite clever, I thought. I just sort of said to them, you know, I just want to know roughly how long this will take because I have to do a broadcast at two o'clock. I didn't say whether it was for television or not. I just said that, yeah, I have to be on a broadcast at two o'clock. And so the guy, guy said, so if I can get you out of here by one, would that be okay? And I said, yeah, that would be great. 
<laughs> and guess what? On the dot, I was out of there by one. Um, <laughs> so sometimes it helps to be a YouTuber. Even if they're probably in their minds, they had me on uh, television for some reason, which is, you know, been there, done that. <laughs> and it's way more stressful. Actually, I think one of the things, and I wonder how many of you um, appreciate that or have ever thought about it, but, you know, these people that you see on the uh, news interviews and things, you've got to understand that they go through all the trouble of getting to the studio and getting some of them, you know, have to get prepped for makeup and stuff like that. And then they sit around and wait. And then eventually they get pulled into the studio to do maybe a minute or two. And so you probably takes you half a day to do a two minute interview. By the time you've driven there and got parking and done everything and then gone away again. So I always am aware of that when I watch these people on interviews. And I think the invention of Skype was wonderful for a lot of people. Because it was, yeah, you can interview me, but you're doing it on Skype. <laughs> in other words, I can stay in my home. I don't have to drive, fight the traffic, and do all those sort of things. Um, and really, it goes to show how far our technology has come. And I'm certain we're just seeing the beginning of the broadcast technology in terms of what we will see in the coming decade. So I've got time to get home and just relax a little bit and then be able to do the broadcast. Oops, there is it. Could have been nasty. Guy came through a light when he shouldn't have done. So and so. <laughs> what can I say? All right, everybody. So I'm going to get on and get home and enjoy the rest of my day. I'm going to be speaking. By the way, just so you know, I'm going to be talking with Dougie this afternoon. I had a great uh, conference call with Benji this morning again. We do that on Saturday mornings. Uh, to catch up on the Dan Semba stuff, and it's all going along beautifully, as far as we can see. So uh, that's what we love. And then I will get to speak to Dougie tonight, or this afternoon, later this afternoon, after the broadcast. <laughs> I've just got a car next to me. <laughs> and I've, that's a first for me. The whole of the back of his car. Don't know if you can see them. Whole of the back is bobbleheads. Awesome. The things you see. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -uh. <laughs> well, that made me smile for the day. This is Dear Mama Sol saying, remember to watch out for things that make you smile because that's what lightens up your day. Bye bye for now.